Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm going to be talking about the gender wage gap. Um, <clears throat> despite the dramatic changes in women's representation and employment, the gender gap in pay remains substantial in, in, in most advanced countries, um, especially in Europe and North America. For example, as of 2010, women with full-time employment in the United States earned approximately 77% of what their male peers earned. That means that women earned 77 cents on the dollar compared to men. Um, many analyses show that the important role that parenthood plays in explaining the gender wage gap. While childless women wages are converging with that of childless men, mothers' wages are substantially lower than fathers' wages in many countries. Um, fathers earn bonuses relative to childless men, while mothers suffer penalties relative to childless women. Even though the gender gap for children workers has been declining over time, the motherhood penalty remains stable, um, controlling for a variety of factors such as education and experience. According to a report, um, the data showed that for 2011, there were 58 million men who were year-round full-time employees compared to 43.7 million women. Men who worked full-time all year round earned around 48000 while women, the average earning for full-time year-round was 37000 So women on average earned about $0.77 cents on the dollar compared to men. In most advanced economies, mothers earn significantly less than childless women, while fathers earn somewhat more than childless men. These discrepancies have been termed the motherhood penalty and the fatherhood bonus. Another interesting point to note is the newly released U.S. Census Bureau report on income and poverty in the United States, and it shows how gender gap in earnings with women lagging behind men. Um, and on college campuses throughout the country, women typically outnumber men, um, especially in the African American community. But even with these college degrees working in the women's favor, there is still a distinct inequality um, in translating education into income. Um, the man may work harder and longer, while the woman may work less due to her engagement in caregiving responsibilities outside um, the work environment. Researchers find um, that time spent on household tasks that are deemed female, such as meal preparation and housekeeping, reduce the wages of both men and women, um, mainly women. Um, women tend to engage in those tasks more on average, and this suggests that those tasks may help also drive the gender wage gap. Um, a longitudinal study examining changes in women's wages over time found that motherhood penalty is primarily realized when mothers interrupt their employment due to childcare responsibilities. Um, one study examined potential employee relocations, um, and they wrote letters to their um, possible employers. Um, some of the letters mentioned that the potential employee was relocating to the city, while others noted that they were specifically relocating with their families to the city. Women who mentioned families were half as likely to be interviewed than women who did not mention families, while men who mentioned families were slightly more likely to be interviewed than men who did not. Therefore, employers' assumptions on mother's productivity may help also account for the differences in the gender wage gap. Um, the American Association of University Women, or the AAUW, has been one of the leading groups um, in fighting for stronger pay equality between men and women. Um, but even so, it has proved to be a very hard goal to attain. Um, they state that since President John F. Kennedy signed the Equal Pay Act in 1963, women's earnings have, you know, increased to that of men, or more equal to that of men, but it, there's still a great discrepancy. Um, it is often explained due to the career interruptions that women experience for time off for pregnancies and or child care. Um, they may work part-time more than men. Um, they cluster in low-paying jobs and have fewer mentors. Um, the wage parity requires a change in attitudes and policies, and women should not be penalized for giving birth and providing care for their child. Um, 
some of the stats that the AAU provides um, include that since 2002, the wage gap has not really budged. Um, women in every state experience the wage gap. With the best place to live in the United States being Washington, D.C., where only 90, where not, women are paid 90% of what men are paid, where, as in Wyoming, the worst place to live in the United States, they earn 64% of what men are paid. And the pay gap just gets worse for women of color, which is very unfortunate. Um, and women face the gender wage gap in nearly every occupation. And the pay gap, tip, pay gap typically grows with age, where women um, earn about 90% of what men are paid until they hit 35. After that, women typically earn 75 to 80% of what men are paid. So while more education is an effective tool for increasing your earnings, it is not an effective tool against gender pay gap because it still exists, even when women um, may have more schooling than the men, the men, their counterpart, counterpart who they are, um, you know, trying to get a job with or against. Um, to judge this issue, um, this is an unfortunate reality. It is clear that a great deal of the gender wage gap is due to parenthood differences. Fathers often see bonuses and mothers often see penalties. What can be done, one may ask? The gender wage gap has persisted through time and across all countries. Women are seen as the weaker sex it is a stereotype that has lasted throughout biblical times and continues to be seen today. Women are penalized for having children, and I think they are, that we, as women, are trained to be blind to the disparities disparities that exist between gender and wage. Women's wages suffer due to taking maternity leave. Um, some women are offered paid maternity leave and some are not. Um, there is a major discrepancy that needs to be regulated by the government, in my opinion. I think that the root cause of the gender wage gap dates, dates back to the beginning of time. Much of the gender wage gap can also be attributed to occupational gender segregation, with women earning less in occupations traditionally staffed by women. Um, and act, how we should act upon this. Um, I think that there are many policies out there right now that aim at reducing the gender wage gap, but they are not yet effective. Um, the Equal Pay Act of 1963 has a number of loopholes that make it um, less effective at fighting gender wage discrimination. Um, some practices that may help alleviate the gender wage gap include moderate length gender neutral paid leave policies which allow both parents to share and care for infants and toddlers. Here I feel like we are mainly talking about the women um, more than the men. And a second policy set includes publicly funded child care that aims at providing employment support for the parents as well as for and educating toddlers and preschoolers and providing after school care and vacation care. I believe that this would help diminish women's financial setbacks that they encounter many times after they have a child. As for what um, we can do as a whole, you know, as the group of women, um, we can demand equal work and equal pay. You know, equal pay for equal work. Um, we can learn better strategies at negotiating fair pay um, for, for big companies. I think that it's important for them to conduct audits um, to monitor and address gender-based pay differences. And as for the government, um, I think the president could get involved and you know work at banning federal contractors from retailing against workers who discuss their salaries or ask for pay practices and move you know for an equal pay now, not in the future, but now. Um, in conclusion, it is clear that there is a gender wage gap that is prevalent throughout the world, um, but the gap has gotten smaller, and it's going to take um, us as a whole, women as a whole, to come together and to demand, you know, equal pay. Um, it's not going to be easy, but I feel that in time, um, we can make great strides as a group. Thank you.